How would we create a chamfer that cuts across the grain as shown in the video? We can see that the grain is running perfectly parallel to the edge, face edge of the piece. So we're going to chisel with the grain pushing the fibers into the material to create a nice flush precise accurate chamfer. If we begin to chisel against the grain, it would drive the chisel into the material, lifting the fibres of the wood as the grain is running in the opposite direction. This is why we chisel with the grain. As you can see, I've set the piece parallel in the vise once again and positioned the waste piece to prevent the fibres from chipping out at the end. This waste piece protects the material from chipping out and ensures that we create an accurate, precise chamfer that suits our design feature in our project. This is important as it ensures that we create a nice, accurate piece. Once again, we're using a chisel that is larger in size than the width of the chamfer in which we're creating. Now, if we look at, at our chamfer, we can see that it's a nice, smooth finish as we were working with the grain pushing the fibres into the material and preventing the fibres from rising. So now, what would happen if we began to chisel in the opposite direction, chiselling against the grain with the same chisel using the same technique? As we can see, this in this direction, we're going to be raising the fibres. Once again, there is a waste piece of material positioned in the vise with the piece to prevent the end grain from chipping out. As you can see, it's a lot harder to chisel compared to chiseling with the grain and as the chisel is digging into material, following the grain and lifting the fibres of the end grain in which we are chiseling against. It's a lot harder and provide, produces a lot more pressure in creating the chamfer. Now looking at our chamfer after chiseling against the grain, we can see that it's a rough finish that lifted the fibres of the material, creating an inaccurate chamfer as we are playing chiseling against the grain and not with the grain. As, play, as chiseling with the grain pushes the fibres into the material and chiseling against the grain, digs the chisel into the material, raising the fibres. This is why we always chisel with the grain and not against the grain.